Hello everyone! Welcome back to our Empowerment Technology Lessons. Again, I'm Michelle May W. Pareha, your teacher for the subject Empowerment Technologies. For the contents of this week's lesson, we have the following. Information and Communication Technologies, Web 1.0, Web 2.0, and Web 3.0 with their differences. Of course, the features of Web 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0 and lastly the trends in ICT information and communication technology it stresses the role of unified communication and the integration of telecommunications computers as well as necessary enterprise software middleware storage and audiovisual system which enables users to access store transmit and manipulate information. The current state of ICT or Information and Communication Technology as an extended term of Information Technology or we also known as IT. Web 1.0, Web 2.0, and Web 3.0 first one is Web 1.0. It refers to the first stage of the World Wide Web evolution. Earlier, there were only few content creators in Web 1.0 with the huge majority of users who are consumers of the content. Personal web pages were common consisting mainly of static pages posted on ISP-run web servers or on a free web hosting services. In Web 1.0, advertisement on the website while surfing the internet is banned. Also, in Web 1.0, a photo is an online digital photography website on which user could store, share, view, and print digital pictures. Web 1.0 is a content delivery network or CDN which enables to showcase the piece of information on the website. It can be used as personal website. It costs to use as per page per view. It has directory which enables users to retrieve a particular piece of information. The four designs essential of a Web 1.0 includes the following. The first one is a static pages. Number two, content is served from the server's file system. The third one is the pages built using server side includes our common gateway interface or CGI. And the last design essential of Web 1.0 is its frames and tables used to position and align the elements on a page. The second one is a Web 2.0 or we all known as Dynamic Web Pages. Web 2.0 is a term coined by Darcy Dinucci on January 1999 in her article titled Fragmented Future. Web 2.0 is the evolution of Web 1.0 by adding dynamic pages. The user is able to see a website differently than others. It includes social networking sites, blogs, wikis, video sharing sites, hosted services, and web application. Web 2.0 allows users to interact with the page instead of just reading a page. The user may be able to comment or create a user account. Also, use web browser instead of just using the operating system. Browsers can now be used for their user interface, application software, and even for file storage. The five major features of um, Web 2.0 Free number one, it is a free sorting of information which, which permits users to retrieve and classify the information collectively. Number two, 
it is dynamic content that it is responsive it is responsive to user input the third major feature of web 2.0 is the information flows between site owner and site users by means of evolution and online commenting. Next, it is a developed APIs to allow self-usage such as by the software application. And lastly, web access leads to concern different from the traditional internet user based to a wider variety of users. The usage of Web 2.0 The social web contains a number of online tools and platforms where people share their perspectives, opinions, thoughts, and experiences. Web 2.0 applications tend to interact much more with the end user. As such, the end user is not only a user of the application but also a participant by this tools mentioned below. The first one is podcasting, blogging, tagging, curating with RSS, social bookmarking, social networking, social media, and web content voting. Last but not certainly the least is web 3.0 and the semantic web. The Semantic Web is a movement led by the World Wide Web Consortium or W3C that stands encourages web developers to include semantic content in their web pages. The term was coined by the inventor of the World Wide Web, Tim Berners-Lee, noted that Semantic Web is a component for 3.0. The Semantic Web provides a common framework that allows data to be shared and reused across application, enterprise, and community boundaries. The aim of 3. Web 3.0 is to have machines or servers understand the user's preferences to be able to deliver web content specifically targeting the users. Web 3.0 fully realize some several problems like compatibility, security, fastness, vogueness, and logic. The five major features of Web 3.0 The five main features that can help us define Web 3.0s are the following. Semantic Web the succeeding evolution of web involves the semantic web. The semantic web improves web technology in demand to create, share, and connect content through search and analysis based on the cap capability to comprehend the meaning of words rather than on keywords or numbers. Number two, artificial intelligence. Combining this capability with natural language in 3.0, Computers can distinguish information like humans in order to provide faster and more relevant results. They become more intelligent to fulfill the requirements of users. 3D Graphics The three-dimensional designs is being used widely in websites and services in Web 3.0. Museum guides, computer games, e-commerce, and others are all examples Examples that uses 3D graphics. Connectivity. With Web 3.0, information is more connected thanks to semantic metadata. As a result, the user experience evolves to another level of connectivity that leverages all the available information. And lastly, ubiquity. Content is accessible by multiple applications. Every device is connected to the web that the services can be used everywhere. So those were the three uh, evolution of web web pages. There are the web 3.0, uh, web 2.0, and web 3.0. Now, let's go to the trends in ICT. 
So the, tr the trends in ICT, the first trend is converge. Technological convergence is the synergy of technological advancement to work on a similar goal or task. Social media is a website, application, or online channel that enables web users to create, co-create, discuss, modify, and exchange user-generated content. The types of social medias can be social network, work, bookmarking sites, social news, media sharing, microblogging, blogs, and forums. The third trend in ICT or information communication technologies is mobile technologies. These devices are capable of using high-speed internet using 5G and 4G networking or LTE. There are different operating systems on mobile devices. These are some of the examples. iOS, used in Apple devices such as iPad and iPhone, MacBook, and other Apple devices. Android, an open-source operating system developed by Google. BlackBerry operating system is used in BlackBerry devices. Windows Phone operating system is a closed-source closed and operating system developed by Microsoft. Symbian is the original smartphone operating system used by Nokia devices. WebOS is originally used for smart smartphone and used for smart TVs. And lastly, Windows Mobile. It is developed by Microsoft for smartphones and packet PCs. The next trend in ICT is an assistive media. Assistive media is a non-profit service designed to help people who have visual and reading impairment. It has a database of audio recording used to read to the user. So those were the four trends in ICT. We have the converge, social media, mobile technology, and assistive, assistive media. Now, let's answer our learning activity worksheets asynchronously. But first, let me um, read the directions and you can ask questions or clarifications after I discuss about our learning activity worksheets for this week. Activity 1, Directions. Using the concepts that you have learned from the previous and present lessons, identify, compare, and contrast the current state of internet technology that, have, that ha we have in the present. Answer the table using a separate sheet of paper, or you can answer directly on the worksheet given. We have the following categories. Web, in Web 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0, the key features, examples, advantages, and the disadvantages. For Activity 2, it is a word search. The directions, circle 10 words listed below. Words appear straight, across, backward, straight across, up, down, down, up, and diagonally. Check your work with the answers below. So, the 10 words are still, podcasting, blogging, tagging, hashtag, bookmarking, graphics, connectivity, ubiquity, and evolution. The last activity or activity 3, directions. Paste a picture inside the box that include your favorite person. It could be an artist model, family, or a friend using with his or her gadget. Then answer the following question. How is this person, number one, how is this person portrayed in different types of media? Number two, my media life is like because, and number three, are digital media a big part of your life? 
So, you have to answer the following learning activity worksheets or activities asynchronously. So, if you have any more questions or clarifications, uh, please send me an email on my email ad or you can reach me on my mobile number, my Facebook account, and on our MS Teams, also on our Google Classroom. Do not forget to stay safe and happy learning to all. This is again your teacher, Shalame Pareha in Empowerment Technology. Thank you.